Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial in which we will discuss automatically generating users in Magnus Billing. By default in Magnus Billing, when you attempt to create a new user, the username field is blank. We do not suggest users that start with uppercase letters or special characters. The preferred username is four digits or more. We say digits since, by preference, you should use numbers. Letters can be used, but it is not preferred. You can see here that if we try and enter a three-digit username, it will give us an error. The minimum is four digits. So in this example, let's make a sample user. You can see that the password was automatically generated, and now we click Save. Now let's set up automatic user generation. Let's go to the configuration menu, go to the username auto generate option and change the value from 0 to 1. Now let's go back to the users menu. We will add a new user. We can see that the username field is automatically filled in as well as other details. The usernames are generated with 5 numbers by default. If we go back to the configuration menu, we can see the username length option. We can change this value to anything we'd like. By default, usernames are 5 digits. If we change this to 10, the newly generated usernames will be 10 digits. We can test this now by adding a new user. You can see that the new username is 10 digits. We can also add a prefix to the username. Let's say that we want all of our usernames to start with 11. We go to configuration and then go to username prefix. We enter the prefix as the value that we want. In this case, we'll put 11 and then we'll click save. Now we will get a 10 digit username with the prefix of 11, giving us a total of 12 digits. Let's say that we want a six character username starting with 11. We would change the username length to four and leave the prefix as 11. This would give us a total of six digits with 11 as the prefix. We will test this now. Once we click add new user, you can see we have a total of six digits starting with the prefix 11. If you want to remove the prefix, you go back to the configurations menu and change the existing value to zero. If we click new user, you can see that we will no longer have a prefix generated. That will conclude this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel. This video has been sponsored by Synops Global, www.synopsglobal.com.